What's up guys, this is a requested video on how to download IOBIT Uninstaller 7.4, the pro version, or otherwise known as the full version, uh, for free. So without further ado, let's begin. Christopher Robin. All right guys, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is create a new folder in your desktop just to keep things more organized. So to do so, right click on your screen, click new, and then click folder. You can name it anything you like, I'll just name it IOBIT. And now we're ready to move on to the next step. So the next thing we're gonna wanna do is go to Mediafire. This is the website to download the program itself. The links are in the description, or you can just look at the address bar and see what I typed in. Once you're here, just go ahead and click this green download button. And once that happens, this may or may not pop out at you depending on your internet browser settings. If it does, go ahead and click okay, and save it in the folder you created. So go ahead and scroll up, click desktop since that's where we made it. I named it IOBIT, so I'll go ahead and click that, and save it inside. Once we've done that, we can move on to the next step. So now we're done downloading everything. Now the next thing to do is open up the folder you created. Just go ahead and double click on that. And we're gonna go ahead and extract this file. So go ahead and right click on that. And if you have WinR, go ahead and click extract here. If you don't have WinR, you won't see these bookcases and that's okay. Just go ahead and double click on the zip file and then this should pop up. Once that happens, just go ahead and drag and drop the, the file that's in there. And that's how you extract it from zip. And so the next step is to go ahead and click on the extracted file. Go ahead and double click on the iobit uninstaller.exe to go ahead and start the installation process. Once it does, the user account control may pop out at you asking for administrative rights. If it does, just go ahead and click yes. If you need the password, go ahead and type that in and then click yes. And once you do that, the installer should start up. Go ahead and click on the one that says custom install. I do this as a precautionary measure just to make sure nothing else is added onto your computer that you don't want. So now that you've done that, it's up to you whether or not you want to create a desktop icon. For the sake of this tutorial, I'll go ahead and leave that checked. So once you do that, go ahead and click install. And then as I suspected, it's asking me to try to download something else. So just go ahead and click no thanks, if, unless you want it. And then click next. So once you do that, just go ahead and let the installer do its thing. And I'll show you what to do after once it completes. And so once it's completed, it's gonna ask you to put your email or something. Just go ahead and click no thanks and that's it. So once you've started up the program, you're gonna want to minimize it and open up the text file that's inside. This includes a good amount of product keys that have been proven to work. So just go ahead and copy and paste the first one, or you can copy and paste any one, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the first one right there. And then open up the program itself again, and click on the word that says free. In my case, it says pro because I did this beforehand and I registered it and I tried to uninstall it and it didn't work out, but it, it kept it as pro. So just go ahead and click on the word that says free. And in my case, it says pro. So once that happens, it'll tell you to input the license key. That's where you type that in or paste that in and then click activate. In my case, let's say I needed to refresh this. Just go ahead and click refresh, type in the new product code and then click register now, same deal. And once you've done that, that's it. You've got the pro version. So that about wraps up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, once again, this was a requested video. So if you have any more requests, just go ahead and leave them in the comment section. And most importantly, if this tutorial worked for you, please give it a thumbs up. Um, it lets others know that this method worked. Um, but if it didn't work out for you or something happened throughout the installation process, go ahead and leave that in the comment section and I'll try to help you. If I'm unable to do so, viewers that are currently watching the video, just go ahead and check out the comment section, see who you can help out. It's greatly appreciated. Other than that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one. See ya.